Hello, my name is Janet Daly. I'm a Pomoza volunteer and supporter. My husband and I love to travel. We've been to England, Iceland, Egypt, Israel. In fact, we've been to Thailand. And while we were there, we watched an elephant paint this picture. But the most important traveling I've done was to the country of Malawi. There, I was able to develop some really strong, deep friendships with some wonderful people in Malawi. I was visiting there with Tema, the director, and with her father. And we were staying in her grandmother's house. And in the middle of the night, as I was sleeping, I heard the tremendous banging on the front door. Banging, banging, banging. And I knew I wasn't going to get up and answer it, so I heard Tama's father and Mike get up and go to the front door. The door opened and some people came in. I could hear all this from my bedroom, and there was all this talking going on, but they weren't speaking English, so I couldn't understand what they were saying. And then I hear them all leave, the door shut, and the car that we had rented outside of my window got turned on and left. And I thought, that's strange. It's the middle of the night. I wonder where people are going and where they, where they came from and who they are. The next morning when I came out to breakfast, I saw Mike and I said, Mike, what happened in the middle of the night? And he said, oh, that. It, it seemed like it, it was an everyday occurrence for him. He said, oh, that. That was a cousin of mine from my home village, which is at least a mile away from where we were staying, his home village. He said, my cousin was in labor but she wanted, needed to go to the hospital. And she wanted to see if I would give her a ride. And I said to her, why did you come here? Why didn't you go to find an ox cart to go to the hospital? And she said, well, she had, but the cart had a flat tire. So she went to another friend who had an ox cart and their ox cart had a flat tire. However, if you had see, could ever see the roads in Malawi, you would believe this story because the roads are horrible. They're full of sticks and trees and rocks and divots and they're very hard on the ox cart's wheels. So that was very understandable. So he took her to the hospital and the next day, Sunday, he said to me, let's go to the hospital. I would like you to see the hospital and I would like to check on my cousin. So I thought, well, this would be interesting. So we go to the hospital and it's a one-story brick building. And we went inside and there's a courtyard in the middle of this building. So we see all these women sitting out in the courtyard, some with infants, some with, I guess, other ailments. And we go around and go around and Mike says, I don't see my cousin. So he goes up to a woman who's working there and he said, asked her where she had gone. And the woman said, oh, well, somebody walked here from her village this morning and they were, they're on their way home walking. So here is this woman who had just had a baby one day ago, walking home with the baby on her back, going at least seven miles to get to her house. I was shocked. This would never happen in America. I don't know about any of you listening to this story, but I had my children here in America. We stayed in the hospital for three days. And then our husbands came and picked us up and drove us home. We did not walk home with a baby on our back. I was shocked, but I realized that this was an everyday occurrence for a mother in Malawi, not near a city. I realized that life is very different for the women there. I have been walking in miles from Malawi for at least the last five years. And um, I just find it exciting. Miles for Malawi is a very fun and interesting way to feel connected with the people in Malawi. It helps us get a better perspective on how far they walk. For example, the average person walks one or more miles to get water. The average high school person in Malawi walks at least three miles to get to high school every day. So that would be a total of six miles just to attend school. This work matters on many levels. As I've traveled around the world, I've become very aware of how we're all created by God in His image. We're all part of God's family. And so we all matter. We all matter to God and we should all matter to each other.